Now y'all know how much I enjoy me some LED lights. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Nova Stella LED 20 watt floodlights. Let's get it. YouTube fam, what's good? Welcome back to my channel. It's your boy Will, back in the building with another video. Today, man, I have a really dope video for you guys to check out. A brand called Nova Stella hit me up and they wanted to send me some LED lights. And I was just like, man, I got a lot of LED lights. Like, I don't, I don't even need no more. But I found this like really cool LED floodlights on their website and I decided to try it out. So Nova Stella did provide me these units for free, but everything in this video is my opinion. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to set it up, some use case scenarios of it. These are actually smart floodlights, which means you can control it with your voice assistants like Amazon and also Google. So yeah, I mean, these are dope, yo. Like, let's go ahead and get into the video. This is what you get, it's a box and inside the box is gonna be your LED floodlights. Now this is a two pack. Let's go ahead and pop this open and let's see what we got right here. So inside of this box, you get two LED floodlights. You have two Wi-Fi antennas. You have your usual user manual. On the front of this device, you have your weather sealant glass rated at waterproof IP66. That basically means that this light will be good in the rain, the snow, um, it will block dust, but it's not submergible. So don't try to like throw this in a pool or anything. These lights uses RGB CW, which means, you know, regular RGB. And then you also have warm white and daylight white. And you have a total of 11 RGB independent lights, 24 cool LEDs and 24 warm LEDs. So you have the option like all smart LED lights to have over 16 million colors of lighting to choose from. Now these lights are actually meant to be like outside so it can like light up your house. But I chose to get these for my studio because man, I, I can never have enough lighting, you know? Maybe sometimes I wanna shoot some B-roll and I want some little fancy cool RGB lighting on the product or something. These right here is gonna come in handy. Okay, so first of all, get your antenna and then you get your device right here. And right here on the top, there is a little screw that you just screw the antenna on like so. Also right here on the sides, you have your mounting bracket. So if you use like an Allen key, you can actually take this bracket off and drill it to something and then connect the light back on. And then at the bottom, you just got your power cable that comes out which is about three and a half feet or so let's just go ahead and get this set up y'all inside of their user manual uh there is a qr code or you can just search up smart life in your app store so they tell you pretty much step by step but i'm gonna go through it so i can tell you guys about some problems that i had connecting these lights and how to fix it as you already see inside of here i do have some um devices that uses this app already so you hit the plus bar in the top corner it gives you all of this stuff right here and you're just going to click on lighting and then for this one you're going to click on light source wi-fi now right here you will have to connect your wi-fi so you know select your network and then also enter your password as soon as you plug it in like so woo, as you can see the light is very bright to get this into pairing mode you have to turn the light on and off about three times so let's do it right here i'm just unplugging one two, three. I'm confirming that it's blinking and now the app is searching for the Wi-Fi connection. Now, when I did this the first time for the other one, it wasn't able to connect this way. So basically, since my Wi-Fi router, uh, it uses both bands, the 2.4 gigahertz connection and also the five gigahertz connection. I can't really choose which one that I want to be on. With smart devices, I have to do an AP mode. And that basically is just a different method of connecting the light. You connect directly to the light's Wi-Fi. And to enter into this mode, you have to get it into parent mode. So once it does that, you do it again. One, two, three. 
I'm confirming that now it's blinking slowly, which it is. When you do it this way, the Wi-Fi directly to this device is gonna be either called Smart Life or SL. So I'm just gonna go to my Wi-Fi and I see Smart Life Bulb, I click on that and then I go back to the app. Now it should have no problem connecting. Okay, so as you see, it found it. I'm just gonna name it Floodlight. As you see immediately, once you connect it, I can go ahead and get my color game. All right, let me go ahead and uh, set both of these up so we can get some shine on the background. Ooh, you see, that's pretty bright, y'all. I think obviously the first thing that you're probably gonna wanna do is like put these in a group. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm just gonna click on Floodlight 2. Right here in the right top corner, I hit the little pencil. Right here inside of the settings, I can go ahead and change the name, automate, and at the bottom you see it says create group. So I'm gonna hit that. I can put both of the floodlights into a group. We're just gonna call this floodlights and we're gonna save it. So now they're both inside of a group. As you see, I can turn them both off, turn them back on. I got my color wheel, so I can go ahead and, ooh, that's cool. Look at that. And then at the very bottom you have your saturation. So I can make this, less red then right here at the top you have your brightness so you can control the brightness together as well you have your scenes so this is night reading this party leisure you know a few different little scenes that they already have preset for you to play with so yeah this one it makes it change colors you have a timer function and the timer basically says if I want to just leave this on for a minute and I hit successful. So after one minute, floodlight one should turn off. And then also you have the scheduling function so you can have it come on at a certain time and day and go off at a certain time and day. And also in the scenes area. So right now I just have this one on scenes. So if I hit edit on the scenes, I can actually adjust the scene. So as you see right here, um, as of right now, it's flashing. I could slow that down if I want, and then it's gonna flash slower. And then if I go back to edit, I can add more colors. So let's do, let's do green in there. Let's do purple. And once I hit submit, it's gonna apply those settings, setting this up with your Google Assistant or Alexa. And it also uses smart things as well, but setting it up couldn't be any easier. So if you go into your Smart Life app and you click on me, it literally shows you right here how to connect it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and connect mine to um, Amazon Assistant so you can see how it works. And all you have to do is just hit enable use and once you log into your Smart Life information, it's gonna ask you to authorize. And once you do so, I mean, you're good to go. Very simple process though. Whatever name you named it, that's what the name is gonna convert over into your Smart Assistant app. Mines are called Flood 1 and Flood Light 2. So all I have to say is change Flood Light 2 to blue. Change Flood Light 1 to red. Once you pretty much get this connected, you go in there, you make a group for both of them. And once you do that, then they will act in a group. Very simple stuff. You know what I mean? You know what I'm talking about. Very cool devices. I like them. I'm going to show you guys some other ways that you can kind of use this, even though I'm pretty sure you get it. And I mean, come on, how cool does that look like in the background of my video? I mean, if you're an RGB lover, I think that you will love these floodlights. I even tested it up against my Philips Hue Play Bar and those actually run like a hundred, how much are those? Like $150. You also need to get the Philips Hue Hub with those. These cost about 70 bucks and you don't need a hub and they are way brighter. So it's a good alternate. Also tried it behind my monitor as well. And as you see, it can work that way. These are like very useful. You can use it for so many scenarios. There is no such thing as a perfect product. So what I would consider cons here would be the app. I can't really knock Nova Stella for the app because it's not like it's their app. The scenes inside of the Smart Life app, they really need to like make some better scenes. And my last con I would say is like the stand. This is like a LED up light that I got. The stand on this one, it opens up like so so it makes it easier to like 
angle it versus the stands on the Nova Stella floodlights. It's literally just one piece of this. I just wish it had another piece on the stand, kind of like how this setup is. Nova Stella is offering my audience a 10% discount code. Link down in the description. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something. Hope at least you got some entertainment out of this. And if you did, please don't forget to leave your boy a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you have not already. Whew, I'm out of breath. And remember guys, never stop creating. Deuces.